We are here, we are here, we are here. On this amazing day. Okay, everyone, this is Cam Jones, FX Daily Analysis, and we are marking up USD, JPY. We are on the monthly time frame. Price action, last candle to the right hand side, look like a bullish green candle working its way up. So we do have price action overall, higher highs, price action overall, lower lows, midpoint, also adding second level lows and also adding second level highs. So zoom in the price to see what's going on. So current price is sitting at 142.433. So if price action work is way up, it can head up to the next SR line that we did create, which is at 154.261. Price action is actually at a mid range between those two SR lines that we did create. So we're going to see what's going on as we walk down the time frame. And the price work is way down. It can head down to the previous numbers of 142.165. It breaks that level. It's headed down to the next SR line, which will be at price 127.484. So we can see price is coming from multiple pushes down to that bottom of support. So just overall, we do have that first leg, overall second leg, overall third leg with a spike down. Uh, two retests in the market pushed up, broke out the SR line. We're gonna see if that market is gonna fully come back to retest to push up further. If not, price is coming back for a uh, rejection of a pattern. Could be identifying a double top in this area or maybe a single top to work its way back down. If it breaks this level, it can be identifying the first, second, Third retest the market's work is way down from the SR line. So let's zoom in the price action and see what's going on with that candle. So as we can see on the monthly time frame, price action is a bullish green candle. It lost a lot of momentum on that monthly time frame, so that market can be dropping that back down from that midpoint between those SR lines. And if the market does respect after a while, we'll see the break and retest. The market has created new levels, or we'll see that consolidation sideways, or we'll see that market work its way down to the next midpoint area. So the next big point area of current price will be at this area here, which will be sitting at near 138.012. Walking down to weekly time frame, let's see what's going on. On the weekly time frame, price action, last candle in the market is a bullish green press up to the top, more like a doji small candle, very weak, side by side with the second last candle in the market. So what's happening is that the price action candle has, second last candle spiked up, price action came back to retest. If it respected for a pattern, we can see that market breaks out from that area as we walk down the time frame. If not, it's running to a rejection of a double top. All we can see is that pattern Form if price action formed below the second last candle, market can be working its way down to that midpoint area price of 137 or 138.437. And also, markets coming from a pattern at that low area here of an incline breaking retest, also a W. So, we do see that first, second, third, fourth, and price action is a retest if it's respected. We'll see the breakout. Mark is coming from a double bottom and a retest incline, or it can reject as a pattern of identifying that first, second, third, and market comes down for that M pattern. Or we can receive that consolidation as it's doing with price action, second last candle side by side. Price action is within the second last candle, so that's what's creating that consolidation. Walking down to the four, the daily time frame, we can see price action is a bullish green candle with a press up to the top, more like a doji side by side with the second last candle. So what that's identifying is that 
we do see price actions lined up on top of our SR line. So what happened with the market? The market did break and retest. If it was respectable, see the breakout coming from the pattern at the low. So we do see that first, second, third, fourth, retest one, retest two, retest if it's respectable, let's get that third breakout. So if you guys are training on a daily time frame, if price does show identify a pattern of being respected at this yellow SR line where we create price action, it can head up back up to previous areas of 144.212. And if it closes out and golf that area, it can push up further. If not, we'll see that decline in that market. So that'll be identifying that price action is a retest of that resistance. So identify as a first leg, it'll break through that area for the second, retest the top third leg, identify that double top of that area, and it can head down to that midpoint of that area of the SR's lines of 138.052. So far we are in consol consolidation with price action and the second last candle, third last candle, and some of the fourth last candle as well. Price action is identifying a drop in the market, but we haven't seen price action break through the support walking down to the four hour time frame on the four hour time frame we have price action as a bearish red doji so price second third last candles all consolidating with the fourth fifth sixth seventh eighth ninth the last candles in the market so we are receiving that consolidation we can see that patterns forming so it's either going to respect this uh, break and retest, or it did it twice. It broke retest, broke and retest. So it's identifying that overall first, second, third, if it respect. We're looking for that pattern to engulf the price action candle and definitely the third to last candle to break out this area if we receive that pattern. So far, our market showing is going to work its way down with the price action candle being a long press up to the top of the previous areas of this resistance of price at 143.171. And if we do receive that break, it's going to be an overall first leg, second leg, third leg, fourth leg. So we're looking for that M pattern to break that area. If it does happen, we look for that market to come back to retest to work its way down from a double top and a retest or a triple top overall in that area. Or that market can still consider to consolidate with the last 10 candles in the market. Walking down to a three hour time frame, price action doji could be respected uh, with that doji. We do want to see price action engulf the second last candle in the market to push that market up with a nice, beautiful green candle. If not, we're looking for price to break that SR line to work its way down. Walking down to a two hour time frame, reading the same thing price action, bullish green doji. One hour time frame, still reading the same thing, but we got two dojis in the market with price action and second last candle being pushed down to the bottom, still weak candle, similar to dojis, not dominant enough, but these candles are showing area support at the bottom because so it can be respected for that market to come up walking down to the 45 minute time frame reading the same that the same as one hour walking down to a 30 minute now we see the same thing but now we just see we're seeing that consolidation so that market did break second last candle retest price action stopped that area of support so that a third leg if it works its way up it's going to create that w formation if not you'll see that break and retest of a price to engulf the second last candle to come back down to previous areas of 142.165. Walking down to the 15 minutes time frame, we're seeing that consolidation in the area. So we're waiting for that breakout if you guys are trading that 15 minute time frame. Walking down to the five, same as well. Starting to see that pattern form in that area. Look like W's and M's. So far, price action engulfing the second last candle, which can push down if it closes out to that previous numbers of 142.342 walking down to a three minute time frame same as well stopping at that midpoint of that area so if we see that break we see that market work its way down to the next sr line of 142.329 if it's respected we'll see price go up to 142.478 overall consolidation from the five minute time frame three minute time frame and now we're on a one minute time frame is reading the same thing as the three minute time frame with the last active candle in the market being a doji switching off the green and red small consolidation pattern at the top is a double top if it's respected for a retest markets coming down from that double top and retest very important information please study forex pattern cheat sheet breakout and retest strategy okay guys
USD, JPY.